video tours? Well, you know, there's a, a huge role uh, for video, uh, Derek, in the in the future, and you and I have discussed this before about um, the how buyers and how the marketplace is changing. You, know, yes. you can sit in, in your lounge room now and put it up on your TV screen and have a, mm -hmm. a video tour of a property appear or photographs appear. Video tours, I think, have particular appeal. Um, there, uh, if you are watching a slideshow, there's um, there's little context. There's just the photographs, yes. and video gives you uh, an opportunity to uh, walk the people through the property with some commentary, mm -hmm. and to include elements which uh, are perhaps um, can be brought to life. For example, lifestyle aspects of the area, etc. So people who are not necessarily familiar with the location, coming from elsewhere, get, if, they, if they just, for example, searched a property in Semaphore, mm -hmm. they might look at a map and see there's a beach nearby, etc. And you know, one of the precious 15 or so photographs or 20 photographs that you can fit on the web, you might get a photograph of the mm -hmm. beach. But in a video tour, mm -hmm. you can have not just 15 or 20 photographs, you can have 50. Yes. You can add into that a splice of... Uh, or a splash of the lifestyle that's in the area. In this area, you would uh, feature things like the main street, the, mm. the, the shopping and the coffee and the restaurants, and you'd feature the beach, etc., and the sailing and, and other nearby attractions as yes. well. Yeah. Uh, this gives a more holistic approach to selling the properties, not mm. just the floor plan and, and what the room looks like in a photograph, mm. but gives it real context in its marketplace. Mm -hmm. Uh, so we, we, uh, we understand that because we've, we've started doing it now on a regular basis mm. uh, that if we do this, uh, yeah, some, some people will make a decision not to go to the property but they were never going to be the buyer in the first place. But yeah. others who might otherwise have not bothered mm. have actually come out of the woodwork on mm. the basis of, oh, I saw your video mm. and it, it gave me a new appreciation. I didn't mm. quite pick it up in the photographs. Mm so well mm. and also the tone of what you're saying about the property gets a place and there's a bit of music etc mm. that helps people understand and perhaps uh, the burnt orange kitchen uh, the location might just uh, sway them to well that's right better go and have a look yeah, anyway I, I, look i probably made too much of the burnt orange kitchen but the burnt orange kitchen is uh, is a um, a euphemism, I don't know if that's the right thing. It is, a, 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 it is a example of the sort of things that you might not want to mm. feature. For mm. example, an empty pool. Mm. You, know, you don't put that up on the web. This is not trying to be deceptive, it's trying to be sensible. Eight D's back in at 1,031,000. At 1,032,000.